I'm Jan Erik Vitala, founding partner of Axopar. So the reason to go into the center console market for Axopar was actually a bit personal. It was my own thoughts and will that when we made the design work on the Axopar 29 range, I clearly felt that we have something missing and we've gone We've got some information in those 10 years we've been building Oxopars. So to me, the CCX is a perfect example of a very versatile Oxoparian way of doing utilitarian but multifunctional Swiss Army knives. So that's to me, the, the CCX is like the benchmark of multifunctionality and drivability on a 29 foot hull bow. You can have seven different off-deck variations on the CCX, and you can go up to four different four-deck uh, variations as well. But it's the, the modularity, the functionality, the drivability, the handling, it's been perfected. So when we've now been building the 29s for this one full season, to me, it's still, we're finding out things, we're fine-tuning things, we're never resting, we're always pushing for something new. Uh, the CCX has a lot of new things that has been learned uh, over the feedback from the 29s and you will instantaneously see it when you get on board so if there's something i really recommend you to see trial the ccx it, it's something special to us and to me personally celebrating 10 years in oxopar is actually a significance we have probably missed or i'm personally missed because we've been so busy doing different cool things in the boating industry and breaking boundaries and breaking bar barriers and fi fighting conventions. So the 10 years actually does not really feel like 10 years. But looking back at what we have been able to achieve in these 10 years is pretty astonishing, even if we go to see this on a global scale and compare any boat brand out there today. So Oxopar's growth has been tremendous. We have already over six and a half thousand boats out there on the water. The company has been able to produce boats that resellers have been selling up to a market value of one billion US dollars in total. So look, in the hindsight, we've achieved great things. We've coined and minted the adventure company and the adventure boating genre. We're seeing people and competition moving into this genre of boats following our success. And it's been very interesting to see what goes around and what happens within this generation of boats in this time frame. So we welcome competition. That's always been our motto. First of all, if somebody comes up with a better solution, a better functioning product, that is always to the benefit of the customer. And that means that we're able, with competition, we can push ourselves to make better boats that will help build an even more solid industry and provide better functioning products for our customers. So I always welcome competition. Then it's always a question of we can't probably ever cater for every single single boat user is out there. So to me, it's more important that we get people out on the water, we get them enjoying, we get them into this way of lifestyle, and then we will see if our boats will suit their needs at that time. But we've had many occasions where, for example, we've lost single uh, customers to competitors, but we always have been able to get them back. There has been a time of life where you need to change something, you, you, you can't find a product within our range at the moment. As you see, Oxopar is evolving, Oxopar is developing. We're always pushing for new innovation and we're always, through this modularity, try to get a boat that will suit anyone's needs. To become this perfect Swiss Army knife that is capable of doing any task you throw at it with, with precision and, and poise.
I love customer feedback because that's the number one reason why we are able to build the boats in the way we do it. For us, of course, I have to fight the complexity of doing solutions. I, I have to look at it all, how we can make it function in production. But in that sense, the customer feedback that we're getting is all about the functionality and the wishes they would want to do once they are out on the water. And for us to get an understanding of that is just so gratifying because getting this and working closely with our customers and our dealers, we get such a good insight on how people really, really spend their time on the waters. And again, this on a global scale. Over these 10 years, we've got to understand better what people want on their boats when they go boating in Australia, when they go boating in the United States, or when we're going boating in any of our Nordic countries. So to me, that is a great gift to have that possibility to go and talk directly with our customers or our dealers. So Axopar is moving into electric boats with the AX brand or AXE standing for Axopar Electrified or as I want to call it the AX. Like the physical AX cutting into something, paving its way into something new. With the electrification of some of our models or the electrification in general, to me is very interesting. We are pioneering, we are on the forefront of change. We know that the electrification will not happen overnight, but we want to be a part of that development. We want to be on the forefront of innovation. We want to take part and do our part as the transition and being able to offer that optionality to go full sustainable and full zero emissions boating. That to me is important. We know that this is a long-term commitment. This will take long time to achieve, but as you see already in the automotive industry, within 10 years, the industry has changed quite a lot when it comes to electrics, and I believe this will be the same for the boating industry. The big breakthrough of electrics will, of course, follow 100% when the battery technology evolves and we get smaller condensed batteries that are capable of having higher capacities. With that comes the range, with that lowers the cost, so in, in all, electric is just born at this moment. But we want to be a part of it. We want to be a part of the game. And we also want to revolutionize and change that game in certain ways by offering an electric boat that is really seaworthy, that is capable of taking people safely from A to B in whatever weather conditions they might be. To be able to comfortably drive and have fun while driving. All the Axe boats, our Axe XE22 is doing 36 knots and our Axe E25 that is just behind us, that's a boat capable of plus 50 knot stop speeds. So we're not taking away any fun with the electrification and we are not adding any complexity with the electrification either. So when you approach an electric Axopar or the Axe, it's more or less unplug the boat and at that moment you are on an Axopar like you've been used to in the past. You still have the same drivability, functionality, modularity, the same looks, now even actually even upgraded looks because we wanted the Axe to look different from the standard Axopars. So every single detail you see on the boat has been changed and upgraded to a way higher premium sensation because the electric boats still today, due to the engine and battery cost, are higher in cost uh, are higher in, in price than a standard Axopar. So we wanted to provide those customers a real feel that you are getting more for that money. That's the reason why we have the special gel coat on the boats throughout every single detail you have inside of the boat. Why we are using higher exclusive materials throughout the entire boat. Why we're doing many parts on the boat that are actually color coded and painted into that same ivory color code that we are having inside of the boat and outside of the boats. So it's this sensation of going Mediterranean style like here on the 45, but just doing it elevated into a whole other level. Why I believe Axopar has been so successful in Australia would be through a very great partnership we have together with E-Yachts. We would never be able to do that success story that we've been together with E-Yachts been able to do with over 250 boats already in Australia without this collaboration and partnership together. When it comes down for the boat and the product itself, 
I believe it's all about the drivability. You have very unpredictable sea conditions. You are always driving whatever the weather. And I believe that the majority of our customers, their number one appreciation on an Oxopar has been the drivability and the capability to take them anywhere in any type of conditions, any time of day. Following that, of course, the modularity, the possibility to spec your own boat for the perfect solution that you find more valuable. That is, of course, the second, but to me still, drivability of the boat, functionality, but the perfect partnership together with E-Yachts. I would say that's our success recipe. For all Australians, you have not seen anything yet coming from Oxopar. This is the 10 year anniversary. You get a hint of what we're doing. Now we're getting a catch of what we should be doing because we have accumulated all this wealth of information in these 10 years. But the next 10 years will be really, really interesting to see where we can take Oxopar in the future. But unfortunately, I cannot tell you what we're up to next. We know there are so many people that want to know what we're working on. Let's keep that a bit of a trade secret, but I promise you, once we launch any new generation of product or any new boat in itself, you're gonna be blown away what we've been working on. We've been devotedly pushing for new innovation and also I would already call it a revolution in the boating industry. So you, I hope that once you see those new products coming out, you already get the first glimpse with the 29 range. I hope you're not gonna be disappointed because we've worked very, very, very hard on that.